up theory that you'll never find in a book. Um, but the theory of relative is that idea that I am, I am short relative to my dad, but tall relative to my mom. I'm outgoing relative to my dad, but, you know, kind of introverted relative to my mom. And as a leader, I might have to be powerful relative to some people and supportive relative to others. And these horses are what they are relative to you right now. You have influenced them. They are not the same in everybody's hands. They are not the same in every circumstance. And we know too that we have been led by somebody who got more out of us than we thought possible. And we've all been led by somebody who got less out of us than we'd ever, ever dreamed we could be capable of. That idea is absolutely true. Um, and that idea about, about our relative capacity is about connecting to the individual and understanding what is relatively possible and challenging ourselves Right, to be present in the face of relatively different consequences, circumstances, individuals, dilemmas, and so forth. In that, that idea about theory of relative, you may have to become bigger and have more brio in certain circumstances and quieter and more intimate in others, and all of that's within you. And you've experienced it today. Imagine the possibility for these horses in different hands, because I've seen Zoe just leave her handler behind. Just stand there and be like, nothing you can do is going to make me move. And with you today, look at her. She's relatively happy. Happy, and you've done something to create that. They are not. A, they are not fixed. They are reflections of their current reality. And right now, what you have created is look at her. Relatively calm. Relatively happy. They're getting this done today, and they're happy to do it. And they're creating capacity with you. That is a, a product of your relationship with them. 